oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I have made it to three days in a row of recording. Woo. All right, so today is lesson number three that I've learned in 2018 in the spirit of Lochmas. So one of the lessons that I have learned is that dogs are way more than pets. So if you hand on over to my channel intro, you'll see pictures of my Basset Hound and my Bagel Beagle Mix. And honestly, I can't imagine my life without them whatsoever. I mean, even with adding an addition of a baby to my life, I feel like my life is like now fully, fully complete. But it's just one of those things where I have found that having a another, it's not even another person by any means, but I really do feel like my dogs have a personality in themselves. But I think the biggest thing is, is that having somebody there for you who kind of picks up on your feelings, that's the biggest thing. Um, I have found that sometimes when I'm down or even before I get down, you know, like when you're about ready to like get into a bad mood, I always have like a dog, one of the two of them, mainly Reagan usually, rubbing up against me, like trying to get on my lap, trying to lick my face, and just trying to give me like all the love in the world. Because at the end of the day, what they see of us is usually completely different than what we see. You know, they don't know anything about Bill. They don't know anything about Dad. They don't know anything about just any of that stuff. They're just there to love on you. And they're there to, you know, be your pal. And honestly, that that's what we usually need. So I always have a really hard time when people are like, you know, dogs are just pets. Like, you know, they can just be getting rid of or they can just move on or, you know, that's why, you know, there's so many shelters because they're just pets. And I'm like, you know, each of these dogs, like you can hear Baxter running around in the background playing with his rope toy. And I mean, they have a personality in themselves. I mean, Reagan's really shy. She has anxiety like I do. Um, but she's also super duper loving. She loves Nicholas to death. Basically made her a mom of the day I became a mom. And then Baxter, I mean, he's just all play all day, all long, unless he's napping, which is for the most part, a lot of the day as well. So, you know, just second guess yourself. If you're one of those people who are just like, you know, they're just pets. They have, there's more to them than just that. There really is. And I encourage you to be able to actually take the time to actually get to know one. I mean, whether, and this kind of goes along as well too, with not just dogs, but with cats. Fish are a little bit different. Fish do have personalities. I've been a fish owner for quite some time. Um, I actually just bought a piece of driftwood um, because my pH levels were really high in my aquarium. Ended up having baby fish in it. So now I have baby fish right now. <laughs> so um, fish are a little bit different. You know, whether it's like a gerbil, a hamster, a bird, all of those things, you know, they all have feelings in the sense of they, they're going to react back to you, you know, and they're going to pick up on your feelings and senses and hormones and things like that as well, too. So if you're following along, just so you know, I do have lots more coming your way in regards to the life lessons. Make sure you hit subscribe and check out my channel or my channel trailer woo, um, to be able to see pictures of the dogs. I'll talk to you all soon.